So this was what it looked like as I finished and after it had drifted and dried, it looked like that. It was quite an experiment. I'm doing this as a practice board uh, for my son. Uh, let him pick out some colors and some designs and things like that. Um, this is a 12 by 12 board with a two inch border. And uh, I'm mixing six ounces of uh, of epoxy for just the base color and then six more ounces for the uh, remaining uh, four colors plus a little reserve for clear. Uh, I like using clear. It uh, has uh, the, the ability to look into the deeper levels um, of the piece that you're working on. So if I've got two layers down and I put clear on top of it, I might be able to see down to the first layer. Um, it's just a little effect. Anyway, um, dividing the colors up or the, the epoxy up to put the individual colors and to uh, leave some clear. And uh, as a rule, I, as I start to mix the colors, I'll, I'll determine how much of, of each that uh, I'm, I'm gonna need. I started with this nice uh, sapphire blue from uh, Art and Glow and uh, I uh, just mixed a little bit and then from direct colors I used a, a pearl. Uh, it's, it comes out white. Um, everybody thought this one looked a little silver. Um, this is my first uh, time to use this uh, Kona color. It's also from direct colors. It's a green, uh, pretty dark green. And uh, once I saw how dark it was, I decided that I wasn't going to use a lot of it. Uh, green was a tie-in color uh, because the walls where the art is going to be hanging in my son's house is, uh, is uh, an olive green. But green is green. I decided to put a little more uh, uh, clear off to the side and I started to mix the, uh, the black. It's also from Art and Glow. It was called black, but it looked incredibly gray. However, you know, it's, it's a base color and it just gives, gives you something to work from. Um, I took my eighth inch by eighth inch square notch trowel and I moved it about. Um, more than anything else, uh, and another way of, of moving about, I took my brush and started to uh, click away. I realized uh, right away that these, uh, it, it was a box out of, or a, the brush came out of a box of new uh, uh, brushes and I noticed right away that these brushes were different. They weren't wrapped individually with plastic and uh, bristles were falling uh, falling out as I was dabbing. So you, you've seen me go in twice already. If I remember right, my last count was like eight um, brushes um, that were just, uh, I had to pick off. It's just uh, one of those things. But, you know, once again, you just do it. I, I did my... Uh, uh, after the troweling and then I used the heel of my brush to uh, chop it, kind of break up uh, any other patterns that I have. And then I start with my colors, um, get some of the uh, uh, movement uh, happening by, uh, by heating it up. And, uh, and once again, another, another brush or bristle. So um, just started uh, flowing with uh, a little paint put some dabs here and dabs there. Um, I know that I had used a level on this like eight ways um, and it still I must have knocked it in the, in, in the processing and you'll notice that everything is going to start to drift to my uh, to our upper uh, upper right. Um, so it's just the way way things flow. Um, I, I guess art should have a flow anyway so I'd like to think it was deliberate but uh, no it wasn't so just putting color down uh, I'm gonna use my wife's uh, hair dryer I, I kind of like the way it uh, it pushes you can see it really starts to make the colors uh, move around and meld and uh, and interact with each other and that's that's kind of nice um, I wanted to uh, you know, keep up with the bronze, so I added just a little bit more uh, to, uh, you know, but at first I thought I would augment it with a little spray and uh, with alcohol, get some clear on here, um, then 
once again dab it with the uh, with the bronze. Um, I love the way this thing was coming together. You can see the pock marks uh, that the alcohol left, and uh, and I I'll I'll just end up using my fingers, and it's okay to use your fingers to uh, to kind of kind of move this around. Um, dab 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 dab, and there you go. See so. But uh, it, it's amazing how things <laughs> flow with a little bit of heat. And uh, I, uh, I, I was re really thrilled with, uh, with the outcome. Um, my son did not care for the, uh, as, he, as he called it, the silver. Um, and that's fine. It's, it's for him. I don't have to uh, do it. I did use white in the, in the final process. And uh, I'll show you uh, an image of what I ended up doing for him. He's yet to come over and say, yeah, Dad, it's great. Um, I, I've sent him pictures like I've sent some of you. Um, and uh, he and, and his girlfriend really, really do like it. But, you know, you, you got to see it to, uh, to say, yeah, it doesn't have enough depth or it's, it's a little too this or a little too that. Pictures are sometimes... Uh, misleading um, but uh, now this was the pro you know project and I was was pretty thrilled um, and uh, I've got a little transition coming up here and you'll see what uh, what this does And this is what it ended up looking like for uh, the final triptych.